Hi, I'm Bianca Lugo for SUNY New Paltz here at Utopia Studios for the Environmentally Speaking panel. Two films in the, in the film festival mm -hmm. this year, which are Stakeland and Bitter Feast. You want to talk right. about those a little bit? Sure. Well, I'm just the producer, and I'm just one of many producers on them, but I got them sort of... Uh, started both of these films. They're done at quite a low budget. Bitter Feast is a story of a celebrity chef whose restaurant is torpedoed by a, a blogger and the chef snaps and he kidnaps the, the blogger and makes him do cooking challenges in the basement. Chains him up and tortures him. So that's fun. Stakeland is a post-apocalyptic vampire movie. Uh, it's set actually we shot in Pine Hill. We shot in a lot of the uh, local uh, area and it's an epic story of uh, America in decline and there are vampires everywhere. It's quite fun. Cool. So you just sat on the panel for Environmentally Speaking. Um, will you talk a little bit about your the green initiatives you're taking in relation to film? Well, my stories, when I'm actually directing and writing, very often have sort of an environmental bent. And that's just because I think that that's a new source of storytelling. You know, some of the collapse of the environment is a, a typical kind of thing you'd make a horror movie about. So I'm drawn to that theme. I made a movie called The Last Winter, which is about uh, basically uh, climate change and everybody's going crazy while they're working on an oil drill. So that's sort of what I've done. And then when you're actually making the film of any theme, uh, you can recycle, you can have a vegetarian option, you can recycle your paper, maybe print your scripts double-sided, a lot of very simple things, but uh, not everybody thinks about that even, because they think they're making an important, you know, they're making a film and they're in bits, they're so busy and they've got so much to do, and the idea is to bring that into just your daily life, so it's just part of your routine. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to be fiercely independent? Well, we are fiercely independent too, in fact, my company little motto is fierce independent movies, so um, well, uh, it just means telling original stories, defending the artist, you know, the whole idea that the director is uh, coming with a point of view and that should be honored in, in your choices with the producing. Give them the, uh, as much uh, support as you can and um, make movies that maybe the mainstream wouldn't finance because they're uh, on an odd theme or, or, or they're their style is unexpected and make them cheaply and that way you can sustain yourself and you can make another one after that because it's uh, it's fiercely independent just like the festival cool. all right thank you very much okay.